Good morning and welcome to Morning Matters. This morning again we are at the Best Western Belize Biltmore Plaza in Belize City. I like stopping here because it is in a convenient location and people can find their way here. Speaking of people finding their way here, uh, Anne Kufas found her way here today. Yes. Paula Belize know exactly who she is because she's many things, including an educator. Uh, Miss Anne, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Randa, and all of you out there in the TV land. Thank you for joining us this morning. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I like how you introduce me. <laughs> um, well, I am a Belizean girl, grew up here. I'm from the city girl. Um, I became an educator about 25 years ago. I started out at primary school. I have taught at all levels, including preschool um, and also a nursery. And uh, right now, currently, I am the principal of St. Martin de Porres School, my alma mater. I actually went back to that school. Um, I went to that school and now I became the principal. I'm also a social activist and um, one of those babies who were born in a home where you speak your mind and that's what I do. Perfect. You know, I um, speaking of speaking your mind, a lot of people can't appreciate or um, gravitate to those people because it seems that we live in a society where real people are shunned yes. as opposed to celebrated. Um, but I think that you are one of those real people. Sometimes I agree with you, sometimes I don't. But I don't think it really matters to you. No, no it doesn't. <laughs> I never will. <laughs> and, and I think that you know, that is what people need to understand. How the world sees you is no business of yours. Exactly. Your business is to do your business. That's right. Um, I also know that you, you're a mother. Yes. You were a wife at some point in yes. time. Yes. Um, how many children do you have? I have three beautiful children. Um, the oldest is 22 years old. The second one is 15 and the third one is 11 years old. Sometimes I forget their ages because I don't want to feel that old. Um, but that's just a number. Mm. Um, but I have three beautiful children. I've been blessed. They have been so wonderful. Um, I've been in education for so many years and the, the, the problems I see children give to parents, I must say every day I look at them and I said, I love you guys because I have not gotten that type of problems that I see so many parents are going through. What do you think attribute the difference? What do you attribute the difference to? I'm a real parent. I'm a real mother. I refuse to Google Gaga anything for my children. Um, I raise my children to understand that the world they live in is not a bubble, and they have to understand that they need to um, fight for what they believe in and know when to fight the battle and know when to move away from the war. Um, I teach them a lot of self-esteem and self-confidence because that's what I have a lot of and that was um, I was grateful because of my parents that's what they taught me there was nothing impossible that I couldn't do and whatever anybody says they used to tell me that they're the ones who are insecure you just keep going um, so I do that to my children too so I have a 22 year old who who can come to me in the morning and said like a, like a beautiful day like this and say mommy let's go out tonight and I am um, so many people would be like oh my god she's going with her mom and but they don't understand the relationship I have with my daughter is one that is so phenomenal it's 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 wonderful but it didn't start at the age of 22 it started from in my womb and that's what people have to understand you have exactly seven years to train your children if the, you, first, seven the years? first seven years from zero to seven if you mess that up then that's it for you your child has already grown into his or her own personality and there's nothing much you can do to change that and that's what I try to do with my children well the first seven years is very important even yes, it in is. school yes it is you yes know. it is even even having them attend preschool is very important um, they need to be sociable a lot of our kids if you see them nowadays they're very heartless they're very cold um, the city that I grew up in, the Belize I grew up in, wasn't like that. Because from home you were taught, all right, you take care of yourself, but remember your brothers and sisters outside. But we don't have that now. I think because we, we are in an electronic age where everything is done electronically. Um, and our children, well, I, don't, I think like our 22-year-olds and yeah. our 20-something-year-olds, they, they, they came at a good enough time yes, they did. where it was still... They can still go outside and play. Yes. They can still run around. I mean, and I'm sure kids can still do that now, but not so much because now they have the internet. They have all these gadgets, gadgets. you know, and the ones that don't have it, they feel like they need to have it. And when they do get it, they lose their friends. Exactly. 
their friends become virtual friends. Exactly. So and 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 while it is okay to be able to interact with people all over the world, mm -hmm. it is also very important to be able to interact with people on a one-on-one -on -one level. Exactly. And I think now we're having a society that is having difficulty interacting on a one-on-one -on -one level. I mean, we go out sometimes and we see a bunch of kids sitting around a table and nobody's talking. None at all. But everybody seem to be to happy. Be, to be, yes, seem to be happy. Those are, those are, that's the word right there, seem to be. Because the technological world has taken away all of the social interaction that we used to have as children. How do we get it back? Take away the damn gadgets. You take it away. You have to take it away. Like, for example, I, I, I always do seminars, women and men seminars, usually during the summer holidays in J July and August. And I've always, and through those seminars, I'm always telling people, you need to get back your family. You see, this is how the society has gone, all right? It's because we need to get back to our family. Take back your homes. We have houses, we don't have homes. You know, that is easier said than done because when you never had that, you didn't come from that, you don't have that, mm -hmm. you don't know how to get that. It's true. So, if I came from a broken home, mm -hmm. I am a single parent, mm -hmm. I've always been a single parent. Mm -hmm. For me, that's just an idea of something that the other people have. Okay. So, I, and how I'm do with they you. Then get it? I'm with you with that, but then that's a crutch in your life. People don't like crutches. Throw away those crutches. You need to, we need to stop finding excuses. I am, for example, for me, as you introduced me, you said you were once a wife. Yes, I was. My husband is now deceased. I'm now a single mother with three beautiful children. I had, for 16 years of my life, I didn't know what that was. But I realize now that I need to get myself up and I need to understand that being a single mother is not an excuse and it's not a disease either. I understand that. Good. I, but I also understand that. I understand the other person as well. I understand the person that is absolutely ignorant to how they go about achieving this family environment that you speak of, simply because they never had it. I was raised... Let's, Hypothetically, I was raised by my grandmother. I had no grandfather. I had no parent. Okay. When I became a parent myself, the man left me or I left the man. And now, 15 years later, I am still a single parent. So now, I have never experienced what you... You grew with your parents. Yes, I did. Then I your children parents. grew with, with their, their parents. parents. And sure so did. you have something to relate to. Mm -hmm. For a woman or a man out there that has not, has, that, has not had that experience, mm -hmm. What would be one of the first steps that you would recommend that they take to achieve that? Self-assess. First thing, sit and reflect. I am a single parent because, for many reasons. Yes. In my case, because my husband passed away. But you have to realize that that shouldn't stop your life either. That shouldn't stop you from saying, listen, I cannot achieve what I could have if I had my husband. That is totally ridiculous. Even if you didn't have it, because there are many people, that's why stories need to be told in this country. Because there are a lot of people who were coming from a single parent. I didn't know because I came from beautiful parents. I had a wonderful home, I had a wonderful life. So I didn't know. I knew from that about, that about my friends 25 years later when we had our family, when we had a reunion. I realized that so many kids didn't have parents. But at that point, they were focused on getting an education and know that when they grow older and become an adult, things would change because they realize that they prefer having a stable home than to just have someone, just one person in a home taking care of you. We have to self-assess and we have to stop the pity party. There's so many pity party going on in this country. It is totally ridiculous. It's going on all over the world. It's, yes, but then our country is a little bit smaller. We have hundreds of thousands of people who know each other from somehow we know from family, friends, we got married to that person, something. We are all related in some way. It, it must stop somewhere. And, and I think that as, as, a, as, as a Belizean, as a citizen of this country, as someone who is supposedly Christ-like, because I try to be Christ-like. You have. I try. I try. How's that working it, It's difficult, but I try. <laughs> it's, a, it's a working process, right? Work in progress. But it's, for me, I have, I've always told people that as long as the Almighty give you another chance to wake up, He's give you another purpose. Find what your purpose is. Many people in cemetery right now, they don't, they, they're know, lost. You make it sound so easy, and we can probably sit here for a long time. But definitely yes, we're we going to get into some morning matters in a short minute. Yes. But how can you find your purpose when, you know, like sometimes people wake up in the morning and they think, 
I have this job and I am, let's say, the marketing manager, but I, I just hate this job all the way. I just stay here because <laughs> the money is nice. Yes. I hate the boss. I hate the job, job. I hate the people. I can't stand sitting at this desk. But they don't, then they think, what else can I do? I can't do nothing else. How do they find their purpose? You find what you like. Yes. I, when you are in a job that you love, you're never working. And that's one of the fields that I'm in because education is what I love. Being with young people, anything with young people, that's my passion because I feel that if they're not guided and supported, then they can't lead me when I'm old. And, and you I need the help. And I well, and, and we can we see what's going help. on right now. We need some very strong, liberated, open minded, fresh new faces of young people that will engaged us in developing this country in a way where we can go forward. And so if you are at a place where you feel as if you are stuck, then again, self-assess. Do I want to be here? How do I get out? There are always ways of you to find yourself out of a situation. It's just how you look at it. But you have to be positive. If you're not positive, and you, you, nothing is going to happen. And nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. You That's know? right. And we can say that because I believe that firmly, we both believe that, that nothing is impossible. You know, exactly. like Drew always says, have you ever wanted something mm. and worked towards it and not gotten it? No. No. If you haven't gotten it, it's because you haven't worked hard enough. Exactly. You have not given enough of yourself. Exactly. Or, or yeah, it has to be something. If you, even if you said, oh, I want to be an astronaut, you can't want to be an astronaut if you're not willing to go to school. Exactly. You can't want to be an and astronaut. And you have a fear of flying. You understand? So you have to dedicate yourself because you can be anything that you want. This is Morning Matters. I thank you for making Morning Matters a part of your morning. I ask you to send your matters in to us. The number is on the screen. You can also email your matters to us. I ask you to like us on Facebook. The page is called Morning Matters. We spoke about you not having your husband, but yes. I can remember clearly when you lost your husband, you also lost somebody that's very near to you. Yes, I within did. Hours. And one hour apart. Can you believe that? How um, unreal. I know everybody that knows me, and 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 I st after this, it's been one year now, and I must say, you know, to all of you out there who sent me my my condolences, and you were there with your words, your thoughts. I mean, I, again, I thank you so much. It really, really helped. Um, one hour apart on March 7th, um, 2017, I got the first phone call, two o'clock in the morning, um, that my husband passed away. He was in the States. And exactly an hour, well, 56 minutes later, I got the phone call. My mom was in Bambapan. She passed away. And it was so, it was so amazing because my parents brought me up in a very Christian, like we're Catholics. And she taught me a lot more her than my dad but my but both of them together taught me about faith and grace and as a young child i just did not understand that my mom used to always say disappointments come but they're to make you stronger and i was like that would have made you superwoman that on, would, that day. on that day i was like <laughs> And I could just hear her saying it. I could just hear her because I was with her before she passed away. And she blessed me and everything. And she did, she did inform me that she would pass away. Didn't expect it so quickly, but, but she told me, don't worry, you're okay. I've set the foundation, you're good. And I think those last words really helped me when I heard that she passed away, then he passed away. And I just knelt down in front of my bed and I put my hand up and I said, Lord, your will be done. How do you... How do you recover from what I would term such a blow? I mean, it's double. It's, <laughs> I can't. I mean, just telling it to me shakes my soul. Yes. And it is not my husband and it's mm -hmm. not my mother. Exactly. Um, but how do you get up after that? My children. My children are the most. I know I said it before, but and, and people always talk about their children. But my children are angelic. Like, I don't know. I think somehow they are lent to me for this day for that day and I remember going into their room when my daughter was studying at the time my oldest daughter and couldn't get her I think she had gotten the message already and I went in and I told both of my children the youngest ones and they cried of course and it was during the whole preparation of the funeral and everything and they kept telling me said mom we had a wonderful life with my dad <laughs> You had 16 years with your husband. I had 15, um, because you call my son little man. 
um, little man had 11 years and Shade, she took he took to her like she was his because we got together when she was like four or five years old and, and, she, and it was like that was his daughter. So we had a wonderful years with both of these wonderful people. So why are we upset? Why are you upset? Why are you crying? Why are you sad? There are many people who can't even tell the stories that we could tell as children because we had a wonderful dad and we had a great grandmother. We should be telling stories. And I was looking at these are kids and I'm like, are you guys joking? Like, really? You're telling me this? I'm supposed to be the one comforting you. And I just bawled. I was like, what is wrong with these kids? <laughs> that is and amazing. They were just wonderful. And then, and then my, oldest, my oldest daughter couldn't come in. So it was just me and the two youngest ones. And they were gems. They were just wonderful through the whole thing. I mean, of course they grieved, they cried. And, but what made me realize how wonderful these children are and how grateful and how blessed I was, was because I did have a great mom. I had a great life. I had a great, up to when she died, my mom was still taking care of washing my clothes. And, and I mean, at the age of 40 something, um, I had a great life with my parents. And with all the ups and downs with being a wife and, and having a husband, I still had a good, a good man at my side who took care of his family, took care of his home. I was lucky enough to be at home um, and he took care of that. And so for many people, I could say that that was what got me through. My children and, and the faith that I have, that I know that God does not do anything wrong. He doesn't. And he takes people out of your life for a reason. He put them in for a reason. And we have to understand that. If we don't have that understanding, then we're going to lament in our disappointments. We're going to stay on, oh, why me? The question is, why not me? Why not? On I got note, this. We're going to take a break and be back. Are you looking for somewhere new and exciting to take the entire family? Well, we have the place for you. Friends of Friends Outback in Ladyville is the place to be this and every weekend. Join us for happy hour every Thursday and Friday and Saturdays. Join us for lunch, dinner and karaoke for all you singers. Are you a breakfast person? Well, you must bring the entire family out on a Sunday for breakfast or a traditional fire hot meal. The place you need to be for relaxation great food, good company, and exceptional service is Friends of Friends Outback, 46 Dewdrop Estate, Ladyville, where the mature people meet. Hello and welcome to a &R. With a wide variety of household items, party supplies, and gift ideas to choose from, a &R is definitely the shopping spot of choice for you. We have loads of kitchen appliances such as freezers, washers, refrigerators, pots, pans, and other items including stationery, school bags, swimming pools, sturdy plastic chairs, and toys for boys and girls. Check out a &R at any of our many locations in San Pedro, Orange Walk, Cayo, and Belize City. At a &R, we strive to provide all your shopping needs under one roof. At West Track Belize City, we are looking to help you save both your time and money. We've also improved our stock levels to ensure we have everything you might need for your automotive or agricultural needs. Additionally, West Track has added heavy duty and industrial parts to keep your trucks and equipment running. At West Track Belize City, we understand that your time is important, so we want to bring our services to you at your convenience. Now you can simply send us a message on WhatsApp or Facebook and we will be right there to help with any questions you may have. Hola, hola, hola. Can I get a seven up per Pepsi Cola? Hey, Miss Lara, if you want to treat me, please don't give me no soft drink. We're ordinary. Please give me a Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola. Hurrah, uh, seven up, dig it up, dig it up. Seven up, dig it up, dig it up. Hola, hola, hola. Can I get a seven up per Pepsi Cola? Pepsi Cola. After you pick the place, pick up a great deal at Alamo on all kinds of vehicles for every vacation because everyone loves a little getaway and big savings. Alamo. We were never meant to sit, to rest, to settle. We were meant to run. And at Valvoline, we never stop pursuing innovation for your engine. Like our full synthetic motor oil, 
specially formulated to deliver our best performance and protection to keep you and your engine moving forward. Valvoline, 150 years under the hood. Available at all Caribbean tire branches and at a store near you. Si tu perro es de raza, raza grande o pequeña, dale un rambocán, rambocán. Si es delgado o robusto, pelo largo, pelo corto, dale un rambocán, rambocán. Rambocán en su presentación para adultos o cachorros. Dale rambocán para que tu perro tenga piel sana y pelo brillante, huesos y dientes fuertes, músculos resistentes y mejor digestión. Dale lo mejor, dale rambocán, salud y vigor para tu perro. Have an idea for the building of a structure and not sure exactly what you want or how to go about achieving it? Then worry no more. Let the pros at Remen Associates get it done for you. At Remen Associates, we have trained professionals that can assist you in the designing, engineering, and construction of the building of your choice. At Remen Associates, we bring your ideas to life. Call Remen Associates at 615-6200 or visit them at Three Quarter Miles on the Iguana Creek Road in the Spanish Lookout. Morning Matters right here from the Best Western Belize Biltmore Plaza in Belize City and is gonna sit in all morning. You yes, heard me right. I'm gonna she's be gonna here. sit in here, she's gonna help us with some matters. She's gonna just talk generally about life and her perspective on what this thing that we call life. And during the break you were telling me that you are having a relationship uh seminar. seminar. Yeah well it has to do a, a lot of uh, uh, has to do with educating our men and women about the roles they play because I do it every year. Well, I started in 2010, and then I did it 2011, and people kept telling me, aren't you bringing it back? Tell me some of the roles of the woman first. They need to be realistic and stop putting their heads in the sand. What does that mean? That means they have to stop that Cinderella. Should I <laughs> that Cinderella type of love story. There is no such thing. What do you mean? Oh, I'm getting married to the perfect husband, and I have the perfect man, and I have the perfect life. No, Garla, you don't. <laughs> no such thing. What do you mean, no such thing? Oh my gosh, there's no such thing. You the only person that's perfect is God. Only God is perfect. But we have to accept everybody's flaws. You and you have to know how many how many flaws to accept too, because we're not flawless. We think we are, because we all think we are good looking and everything, but we're not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we need to we need to live in a real world there are too many of us especially in this country live in a bubble we feel like everything surrounds us and everybody should surround us that is not true girl you better get it right or else you're going to get your heart broken over and over again so what is one of the primary roles of this woman or a woman first of all you need to have set some standards we need to have standards there are so many of us who just settle the word settle is not for you if you want to develop yourself in a relationship. Whenever you are looking for somebody, you have to say, okay, I'm looking for ABC, but there's also a but. You also have to be realistic. You may not find ABC, but what will you take from it? Um, do you Nothing want someone? If I can't find ABC. Well, then you're going to be single and then have to use something I can't say on TV for a very long time, which is not good because you're going to have copper tone children. It's not going to work. So, what we need to do. I tell like we just say, I don't with you. I don't with you, I sign up. I don't with you. Oh my gosh. I am just realistic. But we need to understand that we want the perfect person, but there's no such person. And then we have to realize that we're not perfect either. We come with flaws. Once you can realize your weaknesses and your strengths, you're good. But unfortunately, a lot of people in Belize feel as if they need to settle. Like, for example, this country is filled with. I know I shouldn't say it, but I will. I love you guys, but recycled men. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, I knew she would love it. Let me tell you, I think that generally after you get a certain age, that is the only thing that will 
you can't find a not that you can't the chances of you finding a man after you are 40 that yes. has never been in a relationship never been married and has and no children, children is very very slim not only in a, even in this country but anywhere Where in the world because generally people start their lives at a certain age yes so i think for you to think that you are going to find a man or a woman mm -hmm. at the That's age true. of 42 or 45 mm -hmm. that doesn't have children never been married wants to have a family now is very very slim that that will yes, definitely it cut down your odds a whole lot so i yes. think it is understandable and acceptable in this scope of life to be able to get on or move along with somebody that has already had some form of life before you and and that is that we don't have any problems with that because we again the word is realistic Realistically, we have to understand that if you're eight, over 40, you're going to look, you're going to have to find someone who maybe already had married before, or had children, or with common law yes. marriage, and that is fine. So that, that form of that being is fine. recycled is no, acceptable. No, I don't mean recycled in that way. I mean recycled as having three, four, five women at the same time. Oh no! And not, not, no, that's no, that's no, what I'm talking no, about. Recycled. No, no, when I'm talking no, about no. recycled, I'm talking about. That's why I said standards. Because women only, men only do. That's why I don't blame my men. You know, I love my men. If I was a man, I would have three, four women in Belize too. Why? Because you allow me. You allow me to do what I do to you. And, and that's the problem. Women have to understand that they are competing against one another, which is, which is ridiculous. You don't compete with us as women. You compliment each other. Just like you would do a man. You don't compete with your man. So if a man comes to you and tell you, my darling, you're my love, you're my life and everything, you try to find out who this man is. And if he has somebody else, you would tell him, sweetheart, when you have finished with that relationship, come and talk to me. But we don't do that. As women in this country, I don't know if anywhere else, but I know about in this country, we try our best to compete. Oh, I want it has, a winner. But yes. what are they winning? Nothing. Nothing. Because obviously, if I have to fight for you, obviously you're a little boy. Men, we don't fight for men. Men are naturally come to you and they will let you know this is who I am. This is what I got. This is exactly. So what is the man's role? Well, the man's role is to be honest. To be very honest. I mean, and to be comfortable with... And to be comfortable with the woman that they are searching for. It's not... I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure, men, that it's not all the women believe you want. So don't go looking for them as if there's all of them. I hear one of them, them on the other side of the TV say, Psh, you don't know me. Uh, well, that's one. <laughs> I keep thinking that and then making sure taking care of yourself because there's so many diseases going around now but the thing is that you have to understand that if you want somebody you also as a man has you have to have some standards standards are important standards are very important that's why i'm saying that it's not like you want all the women in belize i'm sure you don't and if you're over 40 and, and you're still doing that then there's something wrong you're with really you not over 40. yes you're still at your teenage ears yes which is sad that's right let's jump into some matters the number is on the screen like i said before that you can send your matters in i'm going to start with this one it says good morning i'm having a relationship with a married man for seven years our relationship is not going well i want to leave him but sometimes i love him please what can i do leave the lady husband alone my question to that young lady is do you enjoy being the option of his choice because you're an option. When you're a second, you're the, your option. I mean, we all go through this, you know, because sometimes when I, when I was younger, it, it, it was like a, a challenge thing for me if I wanted to have a married man or not. And it, 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 was, like, it was a thrill because I love to be... Me, I am thrill, I'm a thrilling person. I'm adventurous. And, but then I realized that... I, I looked at it and said, okay, so I'll have to see you when I can. Christmas is you won't be with me. Birthdays, you won't be with me. Valentine's Day, instead of the 14th, I'll see you the 15th. Or maybe the 13th. Or maybe the 13th. Um, so, and then I was brought up in a home where my nickname was Princess, and still is. And I said, oh, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> so let me just move on. So I strongly feel that if that person knows that she's perfectly made, and if she can wait for that one person who can give her all the attention at all the time, she can wait. And it's seven years, and 99% of the time, husbands don't leave their wives. So I kind of pity those types of women because they're looking for something that will, that will never happen. I, I would discourage it. Why? Because there is one thing that you know immediately about this man, that he's a cheater. 
Yeah. And why would you want to be, if he's willing to cheat on his wife, let's say, God forbid, that his wife leaves him or dies today. Mm -hmm. You know what that will do? That will put you possibly in the wife's position. But then your position become vacant. Exactly. And once your position become vacant, that means that it, it needs to be filled. That's right. So then somebody like you will have to show up. Mm -hmm. Are exactly. you prepared for that kind of life and for that cycle to continue? I think not. I think leave him alone. Leave him alone. This one have a similar situation. She's been with somebody that's been married for a long time too. And he continues to tell you lies. Problem is that she loves him as well. He has to tell you lies and he has to tell his wife lies because exactly. that is a part of a cheating relationship. Exactly. Cheating relationships don't show up with the truth. With no. The truth. no. They don't say, well, you know, this is what's happening. You know, <laughs> I have a good, good wife at home and a bad. But yes. And, and, and I want you part-time. Mm -hmm. You know, come to you and tell her how bad the wife and how miserable she is and what she's not doing and how great you are. Exactly. So, they, so this, that's why I started off by saying with the, men, with, the, with, the, with the man's role, be honest. And then and, and be open with the woman. Let her be the one to say, okay, I'll go along with this. But then most of us, most women, 99% of us, we get emotionally attached real quickly. And that could cause a whole heap of problems. Because when you become emotionally attached, you forget that you are the side girl or the side chick or what they call it now. Um, and then you lose focus. Um, I remember talking to a gentleman, older gentleman, a few years ago, and he said he wouldn't date a girl now, um, being a side girl, because they don't know their rules. And I asked him, what does that mean? He said, well, back in the days, because he's about 60 something, and he said, back in the days, um, the, the other woman knew that there was she a wife. Was the other woman. Yes, and she knew her role. She wouldn't call, she wouldn't bother, she wouldn't nothing. Even if she got pregnant, she knew what she needed to do, all of that. He said, but now these young girls, they just want to show themselves. They call the wives, they show up the girl at the wives' work or the wives' um, job, the, jo the wives' um, house. It's, they just don't realize that they're just there for the moment. I say stop being the side chick because all the time that you're investing being the side chick, you are giving away your youth to somebody that is not even worth your hassle. Stop it. It's not worth your hassle. Leave it alone. I have my girl for six years. She took an HIV test and the doctor told her that she was positive. I went and I took mine and it came back negative. Since then, I've started using a condom. I think this one has been said before. Wow. Um, he, he, I guess he must really love her and trust her because I think that that relationship would have been broken up. Um, it's very difficult because if he's, if he's negative and she's positive, someone is not doing something right. And that tells me, again, on the relationship base, is that you're not being truthful to me. Well, yes and no. Because okay. you do realize that people can get this disease. You don't only get this disease through sexual intercourse. No, you don't. So I'm not going to go. We, that is a strong possibility, however. Okay. Um, on either side, because maybe you have it and it just hasn't shown up yet. That's because true. Because if you are having sexual relations with her unprotected for mm -hmm. six years, chances are both of you are on the same boat, but you just don't know it Don't yet. know it as yet. His, her, maybe his came out negative. And for then, now. You for need now. To go back again six months later and then six months later. You need to keep checking mm -hmm. um i can see why you stay with her why you stay with her is because you've been doing this you're in this already you understand yeah me? you are that is like i come in and i say the first night i meet tom jones i have unprotected sex with him and then i wake up the next morning and i start sweating and i say oh my gosh the next time we do it we're gonna put on a condom why you are already in it yeah yeah if, and if it's only going to be you and tom jones from that moment onward the horse done the out of the gate long time. That is we true. unlock the gate for. That is true. You can't restart it. You can't go back and have protected sex. Um, after, after you, found you have out. already had unprotected sex. sex. In this case, I can see why he will stay with her because he's he's in a relationship with her. And maybe he really loves her. Yes. Because but for I some men, the ego, the ego would 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 get in there though. And 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 this is a treatable disease. If it is, it is. treated well, you can. You can live. live as long as yes. So, Correct. Correct. He is being extremely responsible mm -hmm. and supportive. I would have a lot of questions. I would go and try Me and figure too. out how she got it. That's my first question. I would try and figure out um, what's going on in our life. Exactly. Um, because honesty is not there. If it has gotten through sexual intercourse. Yes, if. But um, even, if, even if it wasn't through sexual intercourse, honesty. Well, because I'm she, sure she, she... No, she just went and took the Oh, test. she just went and took it. Okay, well, Maybe she had this... Maybe she didn't know... What was the reason why she went to take the test? Because maybe everybody needs to know their status. 
I don't think that's why. I don't know I, why. But yeah, we could assume a lot of things, but I, 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 I feel that she maybe, if it was true sexual, just, 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 just my little woman thing going off, click, 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 all the way, light bulb, just click, 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 about. I just feel that maybe the person she was with, if it's sexually, found out that he was HIV, or she was HIV, because we live in a different world. Uh -huh. And she just realized that she needed to do what she needs to do. And, 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 and so that's why I'm saying the honesty is important in a relationship. Let the other person in that relationship make up his or her mind. Based or on the truth. Exactly. I would say and then you would know that you would have something there to grow work on. Work with. Exactly. I say stay close to your doctors, stay close I agree. to your counselor. I agree. And keep it pushing if that's what you want to I do. I totally agree. Right? Good morning. I'm married for five years and every time I go out with my sisters and come home, I get bet or when I sleep at my sister or my mom I have a man oh I guess he's supposed he's fighting up with her then you don't want to get a job and I have two kids to mine what can I do I think essentially she's saying that she's been married for five years mm -hmm. whenever she goes out she gets grief from him um, he's unemployed okay and she accuses him he accuses her of having a man when she sleeps out sleeping out is a big thing but what you mean sleep? Does she go out, stay out, and come back home? Or does, I mean sleep out as in she stays out she says she of the house? She at my sister or my mom. So sleeping out is a big thing. It is. And, and then again, it comes back to the communication and relationships. Yes. If you're going to sleep at your sister or your mom, you need to let your significant other know. And why? And, and, that, and why? Because if I live in the city, my mother lives in the city. Okay. And I'm out partying with my sisters. Mm -hmm and my whoever, why can't I come home? Exactly, exactly. So I can see his hesitation in believing your story. I totally because agree with him. Because if I have a husband and he's telling me he can't come home and he lives five minutes away from, or seven minutes, so the city is small. It, it is, Right. it's a circle. Right? Why can't he come home? A taxi is seven dollars. Exactly. Even if he can't drive, he can mm -hmm. get in a taxi, call me, I'll come outside and walk him inside. Well, exactly. exactly. So I say if your husband is having issues with trusting you, mm -hmm. then make it clear that he has no questions. Exactly. Help him to help you. Exactly. That's why the communication is important. It needs to be open. And and um, you have to ask also like I go again deeper, ask ask yourself, why is he even questioning it? Maybe because she does she this she stuff. Maybe, exactly, maybe she's she been doing this for going, a long time. She stuff is going out so in the night time and not coming home. I agree. And don't tell me you're going to your mother because telling me you're going to your mother, and I'm not saying that you can't go to your mother. I'm saying if you're at your mother, we have two children in this house and a husband. Exactly. And you are sleeping at your mother mm -hmm. without justifiable cause. Exactly. Then the behavior is unacceptable. I, I totally agree. I am, with, I am with you on that. I'm with the gentleman on that. You have to put your foot down and let them sit down around the table and let us let us talk. We need to talk. We need to understand so what's I going on. So I can understand why he would accuse you. You need I to agree. give him no reason to be able to accuse you. Correct. So the next time you're going out, you either take him, get a sitter, or you come home. Exactly. Totally agree. My marriage has ended after 10 years. I am sad for my children. How do I move on? Think about yourself. You're sad about your children. That's all wonderful. I mean, the children are part of the love that you all had. But you also have to think about your happiness and your sanity. You cannot raise your children properly if you are not sane, if you're not mentally and emotionally stable. And most people, because like I've, I've counseled, I'm also a part of it too, I do counseling. Um, most people stay in a marriage and they say, oh, I stay in it, Miss Annie, because I have my kids. Girl, your kids are suffering. You don't stay in a bad relationship because of your children. It you come, the wrong you, message. Right. You come out of that type of relationship because of your children. You don't stay in it. And many people have to understand that. And so your marriage is ended. Both of, you have, both of you need to move on. You need to understand, like what I said in the beginning, when, and again, it's a faith-based thing. I've always told you, it always comes back to faith. When, when God puts someone in your life, it's to teach you a lesson. When they take them out, it's also to teach you a lesson. But how do you use that lesson to grow? This is where she needs to come. 10 it's years of he. her life, it's a he. He's the one that asks the question, okay. He, he needs now to understand that he doesn't have that wife anymore. It's a new chapter. It's a new chapter. Turn in your the page book. and start reading. That's right. That's and it. You have to. And, and, and keep moving. Keep moving. Movement is important. It's kind it of is. like life. If you sit down, nothing happens. That's you right. You have to keep moving. So she doesn't want you. No problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever the case is, she doesn't want you. No problem. You need to figure out now 
what you can do to make yourself a better man and a stronger man for those children so they can see the best in you all the time. Exactly. Keep it pushing. Keep pushing and always be there for those children. Yeah. It's not because you're out of the house physically that means you're out of their lives physically no. also. Maybe now you need more time with exactly. them. Exactly. And, and, and I want to tell this gentleman, fight for your children because I'm, I'm, I love you women, but you can be real witches, <laughs> especially when it comes to separation and divorce. You children, use those they, children as a pawn. They make them, power. They Ex make them punish exactly. unnecessarily. unnecessarily. So if that woman knows her worth, she would take care of her children and she would allow you to co-parent with your child, with her, with those children. And But if she gives you any types of grief or any problems, use the court system. Make sure that those children see you, you're with them, you financially take care of them, you are there with them, you have time with them. It's very important. Do not neglect your children, please. On that note, we're going to take a break and be back. Are you looking for somewhere new and exciting to take the entire family? Well, we have the place for you. Friends of Friends Outback in Ladyville is the place to be this and every weekend. Join us for happy hour every Thursday and Friday. And Saturdays, join us for lunch, dinner, and karaoke for all you singers. Are you a breakfast person? Well, you must bring the entire family out on a Sunday for breakfast or a traditional fire hot meal. The place you need to be for relaxation great food, good company, and exceptional service is Friends of Friends Outback, 46 Dewdrop Estate, Ladyville, where the mature people meet. Hello and welcome to ANR. With a wide variety of household items, party supplies, and gift ideas to choose from, ANR is definitely the shopping spot of choice for you. We have loads of kitchen appliances such as freezers, washers, refrigerators, pots, pans, and other items including stationery, school bags, swimming pools, sturdy plastic chairs, and toys for boys and girls. Check out a &R at any of our many locations in San Pedro, Orange Walk, Cayo, and Belize City. At a &R, we strive to provide all your shopping needs under one roof. At West Track Belize City, we are looking to help you save both your time and money. We've also improved our stock levels to ensure we have everything you might need for your automotive or agricultural needs. Additionally, West Track has added heavy duty and industrial parts to keep your trucks and equipment running. At West Track Belize City, we understand that your time is important, so we want to bring our services to you at your convenience. Now you can simply send us a message on WhatsApp or Facebook and we will be right there to help with any questions you may have. Hola, hola, hola. Can I get a seven up or Pepsi Cola? Hey, Miss Lara, if you want to treat me, please don't give me no soft drink. We're ordinary. Please give me a Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola. Hurrah, right. seven up, dig it up, dig it up. Seven up, dig it up, dig it up. Hola, hola, hola. Can I get a seven up or Pepsi Cola? Pepsi Cola. After you pick the place, pick up a great deal at Alamo on all kinds of vehicles for every vacation because everyone loves a little getaway and big savings. Alamo. We were never meant to sit, to rest, to settle. We were meant to run. And at Valvoline, we never stop pursuing innovation for your engine. Like our full synthetic motor oil, specially formulated to deliver our best performance and protection. To keep you and your engine moving forward. Valvoline, 150 years under the hood. Available at all Caribbean tire branches and at a store near you. Si tu perro es de raza, raza grande o pequeña, dale rambocan, rambocan. Si es delgado o robusto, pelo largo, pelo corto, dale Rambocan, Rambocan, Rambocan en su presentación para adultos o cachorros. Dale Rambocan para que tu perro tenga piel sana y pelo brillante, huesos y dientes fuertes, músculos resistentes y mejor digestión. Dale lo mejor, dale Rambocan, salud y vigor para tu perro. New Buildings Limited is the company of choice when it comes to design, fabricating, and erection of wide-span metal buildings in Belize. At New Buildings, we have a team of well-trained professionals that can produce the most innovative and durable metal structures. 
be it domestic or industrial buildings, we can get it done for you. We have put together some of the most outstanding metal structures in the country. We also do estimates and consulting. Visit new buildings in Spanish Lookout or give them a call at 631-8723 or 610-5185. New Buildings Limited, the experts when it comes to metal structures in Belize. Final segment of Morning Matters right here from the Best Western Belize, Biltmore Plaza in Belize City. It's a lovely morning this morning. It you is. know, every so often we are blessed with just extremely good days. Yes. Weather-wise, oh. all around. Yes. And this oh, is one of them. It's wonderful. I love that. I was worried about all the rainy days. I was like, okay, well, the rainy days are good, so you wash all the evil spirits away. But now the evil spirits are now gone. Now, can you see some sunshine? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. I love it. Good morning. Good morning. I'm in a messed up situation. I live with someone who is way older than me, but I'm in love with someone else. I am only with this person because of the financial situation. I think about leaving him and being with the person that I love. But he also has a baby mother who keeps popping up and saying that they're still together. And he is saying that they're not. What do you think I should do? I'll give you the first go. Someone is lying somewhere. She. Someone is lying. She. <laughs> to herself exactly and that is the worst kind of life yes. yes she is the one lying to herself why do women do women stop it for god's sake stop it let me explain what is oh my gosh her. she's selling herself for a price that she's not willing to deliver what's going on is that she is with tom jones who takes care of her financially and mm -hmm. really is taken with her Yes. She's not taken with him. She's Correct. taken with his money. Correct. She's taken with the man that's given her grief. Correct. Why? Ex that's always my question to these types Why? of women. Why do you do that to yourself? Find someone who is worth your time, your she attention, has. your love. Yeah, she has, but he also has a baby mother that keeps popping no, up. No, 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 no. She has an older man that she's with. Yes. That takes care of her. Right. But she's there's someone else that yes. she loves. No? She needs to start, yes. She okay. Needs, so she has two men. Good. Okay. She needs to start loving and respecting herself. When you start doing that and you start doing things with the right purpose, the mm -hmm. purpose is important. The principle is important. Correct. You know? So when you start operating based on principle and not feeling, you mm -hmm. will find your life in a better place. Exactly. I totally agree with that. That's why when the people look at you, and especially myself, they're like, oh, you're always happy. Oh, Self-worth and self-confidence is important. If she does not understand that she is draining her mental part of her and her emotional part of her, then she's going to find herself become depressed. So, and then she will never have the love of her life that she deserves. She can't find the love of her. She doesn't. Let me tell you something. The man that you think you love, you don't love. The man that you think you love right now is bringing you much grief. Besides much grief, he's okay. bringing you possibly sexual pleasure that you are misunderstanding for love because in your limited experience on this earth mm -hmm. or exposure with love, that is not what love. Love is kind and, 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 and I know that sounds cliche. And, and, it is, but I and, love it. And it is I'm a hopeless peaceful romantic. And, and happy yes. and free and truthful. Yes, the honesty. Right? Oh my gosh. If those things are not are not there there is no love. there's no love i right? am i'm with you on that good morning my wife cheated on me a couple months back we were having a rough time and i guess that's why it happened when i found out about the affair it was a friend of mine we have decided to try and work it out but i still think back in the back of my mind that she will do it again she cried and went into a state of saying how sorry that she was that it happened we have reconciled and moved towards being the vote in Christ and we try to communicate more now. Do you think that someone can genuinely be sorry for cheating? That is so difficult because to me once you cheat you have you have left the room with so much at the thought process of just 
it could happen again. It could happen again in the back of your mind. And the trust is, is gone. There are few people who are mature enough, especially men, because men egos are, can be hurt very quickly. And so I'm so glad I'm hearing that, that the that man is saying that we are trying because most men, especially, and it's your friend, oh, hell no, you better go with that girl. It's very difficult for a woman, because women are nurturing people. So hence the reason why men always seem to come back to us when they cheat. We take them back, we take them back, we take we. them back. Yeah, 99%. Don't lie to yourself. Remember, we start off by saying don't lie. No, so a lot of women take them we, back. We take them back because we feel as if we can make things work. But you then can't. you can't because if a man cheats once, he'll cheat again, he'll cheat again. Same thing with a woman. Um, but for, 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 for many reasons too. For a woman, it can be that emotionally she was detached from her husband and this other person is there and, and that filled in even though that person shouldn't have. There's no justification for cheating, I None. don't believe. The but. question that she asked or he asked, sorry, is do you think that she can genuinely be sorry? Um, she can be. But she can be. And I think that if the same way a man can be, I don't know that I can forgive it, but it can be forgiven. There, is, there are people that can forgive it. And I think that anything can work wherein the right amount of work is invested in it. So if yes. both of you have decided that you will try again, yes. you need to get it out of your mind. And if you say you have forgiven her, then stop charging her for it in the back of your mind. You are charging her for it in the back of your mind and you're feeding the doubt. Let me tell you something. If all of us walk around with the thought that tomorrow the world can end, this world would be a very sad place. Yes, it would Because be. we would not be doing what we need to do today to move forward for tomorrow. You are walking around with the, intent, with the thought that tomorrow my wife can cheat. Mm -hmm. Guess what? That is a thought that you need to leave if you want your marriage to work. Correct. Your marriage will never work with that thought in the back of your head. I agree. Because you are not giving yourself or your marriage a fair chance. Correct. And I think that if he's even thinking it, he needs to move on. To be very honest, if you're even thinking about it, if well, you if you have forgiven means forgiven means that you have forgotten that too, you know. You put it away. You, yes, and you and you and you move on. You move on. I don't. But if you're if you're entertaining the thought of it behind yourself and behind your mind, and you're saying, well, it could it could happen. Remember, negative thoughts breed negativity. Breed negativity, and it can it can happen. So you have to be able to say, okay, I am with her. That is the past. I'm going to work with my wife to ensure that whatever happened back then, emotional detachment, whatever was going wrong, we fill that void and we move on. If he can't do that, if he cannot do that, then I would tell him, look, you need to move on. Well, I don't recommend that he moves on yet. Before, well, before you move on, you need to give yourself the ability to try. How you do that is find counseling. Why? Because you want this woman. You yeah, just well, don't know how obvious. to keep her. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, that is true. How, so you need somebody to so, help you to keep, yeah. to, to teach you how yeah. to keep this wheel turning. Turning. I, I agree. But then remember, if he, as I said, if it's only the thought that he keeps bringing up, if he keeps bringing up that thought, then I'm worried about the relationship. He but if he, can, if he can cope with it and work with it and say, okay, tomorrow and it's a new day, I'll work with my wife, then go ahead and do that, my brother. I, I love it. Go ahead. Good morning. I need some advice. My wife continues to refuse me. Sex. Oh. I can't even touch her. She has I, somebody else. I'm thinking of going outside of the marriage. Um, no, he, no, no, no. Don't go outside of the marriage. Do not go outside of the marriage to find your sexual satisfaction that your wife isn't giving to you. What you need to do first is sit and talk with her. Listen, I've been asking you what's going on. It should be something natural, husband and a wife. What's wrong? What makes you think that she has somebody else? Huh, you're at home with a man who can give you 24-7 and you're not given 24-7. Let me tell you something. Okay. <laughs> Virgo. I, Sorry, I'm a Virgo. Me too. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what. I think that before we accuse her of having somebody else, there, we are human beings, and we don't just stop having intimacy with our partners overnight. I agree. It could be that your relationship is in trouble for other reasons. Mm -hmm. So maybe you are the man that just wants to come home and ride the horse, but you are, don't want to bathe the horse, you don't want to brush the horse hair, you don't want to take the horse for a walk, you don't want to tell the horse how beautiful the, the horse. horse is, or feed the horse, like you say. So you have to see, you have to really first look at yourself and see how you got to this position it could be 
that I don't know your line, so I can't sit on this side of the TV and tell you what's going on over there. But before you accuse her of anything and start getting hot, look at how you've been treating her. And not yesterday, but for months or, or, or maybe years. Maybe at one point in time, you cheated on her. Maybe she's gained some weight and you tell her how fat she has become. Or maybe yeah. she has lost some weight and you tell her how maga she has become. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of reasons why women don't want to be touched by their husbands and mm -hmm. vice versa Versa. from time to time. Mm -hmm. So before you get all hot and say she don't want to give you none, make it, set the stage for her to want to give you some. Communication. Exactly. I, I strongly feel that we are not talking to each other. That's what I'm saying from the beginning. We have houses. We don't have homes. It seems like everybody just in and out. Bathe, sleep, get up, breakfast, go, go again, yeah. bathe, sleep. So we need to sit, pause, and say, listen, I am worried about a relationship. We're not as intimate as how we used to be. Is there something I should know about? Is there something we need to do differently? But maybe Let's he talk. Needs, what he needs to do is first, a lot of people don't like to take responsibility, right? So, and, and you see this everywhere. Sometimes we are guilty of it. So he would say, well, you know, I'm giving no sex. And she wants to say, but you remember that um, yesterday you called me out of my name. You always putting me down. I don't feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. And he might say, that was yesterday, man, but today I want some. So, mm -hmm. so you need to be able to communicate and say, totally agree. This is not how it works. Mm -hmm. I am like an old diesel engine. I need a little warming up. Yes. You can't just jump in at me and turn the key and think you want to run. Yep. In no one start. <laughs> that, that, that the way you won't get. I need for that glow plug go off one few times. Not one time, one few, few times. times. Then you could turn that the key and I want to start. Exactly. Think about that. I like that. Think about it, my brother. Most of them don't know what that glow plug is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Go look it up. Google it. That's when you know you're old. <laughs> just a number. Just a number. <laughs> this guy treats me like a princess, but I am not sure that I am ready for a relationship. Oh. But also at the same time, I don't want to hurt him. How do I proceed? How do you proceed with someone who's treating you so well, but you're not into him? You have to first let him know. It's not that she's not into him. She's not ready for a relationship. Well, she's not into him. That's just being English. She's not into him. Because if someone, any woman that gets treated like a princess is someone who's like, okay, wow, this guy does so much for me. I must be appreciative on some level. She's not into him. She's looking somewhere else. She wants someone, someone else. Who that person is, I don't know. But I think if you're not going to be into him like that, don't lead him on either. That won't be fair. I don't know that she wants someone else. She just might not be ready for she, anybody. Yeah, and, and, and that's fine. But then do not allow yourself, do not allow yourself to be placed as a princess and then you're treating him like a frog. It's not fair. Well, I don't know that she's treating him like a frog. Yes, she's, she is. Her thoughts. I think that what you need to do is you don't want to hurt him. The only way you cannot hurt him, it's there's a song that says, I would rather mislead you with um that I would rather tell you the truth than mislead you with a lie. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So I think to prevent from hurting him, you need to be honest. I agree. Right? The honesty so you need is important. to say, Hon, I really, really appreciate the love that you give me. Correct. But at this stage in my life, I'm not ready for a relationship. If you want us to continue to try and sit down and la la la, I'm okay with that. Beautiful. But do not expect me to be your girlfriend. I'm not ready to be your girlfriend. I don't want to be your girlfriend. I don't want to be anybody's girlfriend. Exactly. Um, with that in mind, then we can proceed. Correct. Be clear. I agree with that. And honest with him. Totally agree with that. That way he can decide if he will continue to princess you or Ex he will find another girl to princess. To princess. And if I were you, don't let him find another girl. Princess. Right. Seven years relationship went down the drain because of looking into my phone and posting neg negative things on Facebook. Would you agree that Facebook is not the place to post your business? Two things you keep private, your relationship and your next move. Always remember that. <laughs> Let people keep guessing. Um, social media has caused a lot of problems in, in relationships. People have caused a lot of problems in the well, relationship. Well, social media never gone out and take your business and put it on Facebook. Yeah, but they're good at it though because it's free. And so because it's free and, and you can get on it all the time, you don't have to pay $1.99 um, per minute because it, it maybe Facebook start charging, we would be off of it. Um, but my thing is, is that 
so many people, and that's what I'm saying about the fakeness. We're so we're so fake about everything, even the filters now. So when you really see somebody, it's like, oh, I thought you looked like that. Oh God, you look like a. I thought that you were dark brown, not the <laughs> light, light, light. Oh my gosh, it's like wow. Yeah. But you know, and so it's important that you put aside whenever you're together in a, in a couple and your relationship, the Facebook thing or the social media, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you do, put it aside. If you both decide, oh, let's take a picture and go on Snapchat, then that's fine. Then you put that down because communication is important in a relationship. So obviously that person was feeling a little bit uh, hot. hot about the whole thing. But we, we need to know when to chill. Yes, leave the Facebook alone and keep on morning matters. That's what I'm talking about. I think that um, Facebook is not as, not as big of the issue as the people who uses it? Thank you. I agree. So, that could be if you're telling me that Facebook caused your demise, I would say no. Your woman's indiscretion or your indiscretion caused your demise. Why? Because if I put on Facebook that um, John Doe is a beast, mm -hmm. right? And, and let's say I'm dating John Doe and I put a picture up of this beast or him behaving in a peaceful way that's right correct um that is a fact well it might be a fact it might be that tom jones is a beast yeah but then i should have had more discretion because maybe as much as tom jones is a beast mm -hmm. maybe we could have fixed this if we didn't put it out there for the world to see, to see. Right. so i say it's not it's it's when somebody behaves that way just let not kill yourself mm -hmm. why because that shows who they are and how they deal with conflicts yeah they need to learn conflict resolution Delusion. and because they are not good at conflict resolution they go out for the world for pity pity party I say. so they go out and they much. say look my wife is such a beast or my husband is such, such a beast. beast because they want somebody to rally on their side and push you in the hole mm -hmm. anybody with any sense that sees that should stay out of it exactly and also they should not judge you based on that post correct so if I, if I put up a post and I am bashing Tom Jones. Mm -hmm. Does that really say anything about Tom Jones or does it say about me? It says more about you. About so Tom I Jones. say, I don't think that, I think that if your relationship ended because of Facebook, like you put it, you have something to celebrate because the person that you were with was not mature enough. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to, when you are in a relationship, you are, it is very important to protect your intimacy. And your intimacy Always. is not only sexually. Your intimacy is your privacy, your the comfort, the, the safety of of that relationship needs to be protected at all costs. At all costs, totally agree. Because it is yours. Exactly. I don't know if you. Well, probably we all grew up in the same time, in the same way. That if we were having an issue in our home, it stays in our home. That's right. <laughs> I know going to school got tease my brother about that. No. Because that won't be a problem. Because exactly. what we discuss at home is That's our, our business. business. This has and we will settle world. our business at, at home. home. Inside the home. Exactly. Why? I think that is what creates, and, and this is my rant for the day, this is what creates the dysfunction in our relationship because the people that are sabotaging the relationships are the ones on the inside. Exactly. Your relationship cannot be broken by people on the outside. No, because they have no idea. A lot Unless of them don't have uh, any power. Exactly. But they only use it because you tell them. You, you give them so that power. when the person on the inside, it's like having a spy. It's like living with a spy. Mm -hmm. And the spy pretends to be your friend. So you tell the spy all your secret. Mm -hmm. And then the spy say, you know what? I'm going to share this information with Anne because Anne has been always wanting to break up this little relationship. But I have the tool where I need. That's right. So when your relationship is destroyed, 99.999 times, it is broken up from the inside out. I totally Because if agree you are that. strong on the inside, if you are the steel that keeps that together, they could fight all they want. Exactly. And, and, and it's almost like when people say, oh, that one broke me up or that nope. one broke up. No, that relationship was had broken up already. There was already a crack. And then you gave other people the power to make that crack become bigger. It's the person on so the inside. A, that's what I'm saying. So you're Always. giving them power. So you have to be able to know two things. Keep your next move private and also your relationship. It is very, very important. We, that's, that's what social media has done to, for many people who, again, don't have that self-worth and that understanding that it's not everything you put on social media because it's not everybody who wants your happiness and, those who, and, and, and there are some other people who, who lament on things going wrong with you. 
So you have to be able to balance it. Not everybody that show up at your party and smile is, is happy. Your, yeah, and is your friend. They hmm. show up at your party and smile because they're thinking, haha, I'm in. I exactly. Now how can I how can I screw this up for them? And like I said, nobody can screw it up but you. So take exactly. responsibility and make That's sure right. if you're in a relationship, it is your duty to protect it with your all. That's right. Morning matters is winding down. Anything you'd like to leave me with? I would like to say a couple things to my Belizean people. Always be happy. Always smile. Always be positive. Life are going to throw you some curveballs. What you do with those balls is that you kick them out the park. You make them home runs. And then the others that you can't, that comes back to you. You put them together, you make them your foundation, you stand on them, and you go. But do not allow yourself to live in a depressive state because of anybody else. If you want to be depressed, depressed on your own. But don't, don't give anyone that power to make you feel depressed. Every day is a good day. Keep going. How you feel is your choice, not theirs. Correct. That's right. And thank you for stopping in this morning. You're welcome. Until next time, I encourage you to take care of yourselves and each other. This is Ronda along with Annie. Say goodbye.